Well, tonight we have our eye on education as the discussion continues over how and when to reopen schools. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley takes a look at the growing concerns by parents of children with disabilities who rely on schools for more than just a lesson in the classroom. We will make sure that face coverings are worn, that soap and water is used uh, a lot and hand sanitizer is used a lot. Niagara Falls City School Superintendent Mark Laurie wants to reassure parents the district's reopen plan will include all special education students. Of the 7,200 students in the Falls City School District, more than 1,000 of them are classified as special education. We do have a number of students that have wheelchairs. Uh, we do have a number of children who have personal care aids. We do. And that does put a different layer of social distancing and uh, special hygiene requirements. Here at the Cataract Elementary School, they have a 20% special education population, but the principal said they'll be ready when the school reopens. We have a, a very large population here at Cataract. Principal Jeff Showers says every child at his school will be taken care of when students return. In fact, his school team is already making wellness calls to families. We are making calls daily to see how our kids are doing and families and We've known our families for a long time. How do you ease a parent's concern that they will keep their mask on? Um, it, it, it's, it's a culture that we're going to have to grow. And it's something uh, that we as the adults, um, we're definitely going to be modeling that. So, and that starts with myself. Some parents say Governor Cuomo has not included special needs students in his reopen recommendations. But Lori says it's up to individual districts. That's what we do. That's our business. And we better be ready for it. Lori says as the district continues drafting its reopening plan, he does not expect to bring back all 7,200 city school students in one day. Instead, there will most likely be staggered schedules with some in school and long distance learning. In Niagara Falls, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.